back at Kilpatrick, uh, absorbing the history and the culture of this very sacred uh, and holy place. And it's just amazing to look out onto Clue Bay and feel the winds coming and, and feel the history and the spirituality of the many, many, many thousands of people who've climbed this, uh, who've climbed this mountain. It's, it's just great to be here. Then when Patrick came, he obviously wanted to take over the centers of power to bring in Christianity. So this was obviously a major center of power. And that's probably why he came here and fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. This is the first official visit uh, by uh, Ambassador O'Malley uh, to the native county of his, of his ancestors. Uh, and we're very happy to have himself and his wife, Dina, come and visit County Mayo. And the ambassador, during the course of two days, uh, will uh, see a flavour of the personality of this county, but also gain uh, a further, deeper insight into the kind of people uh, from which he sprung himself. the names of the brave men and women of this county, uh, some of them named O'Malley, some of them from Westport, inscribed on this beautiful stone. Uh, before this week is out, uh, I will convey to President Obama and to Vice President Biden uh, the respect that you give to the brave men and women who died on behalf of the United States of America. This exhibition, I think, is really, really important um, for us all here in Westport and in Mayo. Um, it's a very, very important part of our history. And this will show you just how um, the family did connect with what was going on locally and were very um, involved from the beginning. By preserving the letters of Lady Sligo and the remarkable story of how one family, how one family so compassionately responded to this catastrophe, this exhibit enables the next generation to better understand this devastating time and the way some people reacted to it.